In this video, I'd like to show you how to make improvements to a stone walkway. This is a follow-up to my video where I showed you how to make this walkway. Please see the link in the right-hand corner up above. We spent many happy years walking along this as we waited for the moss to grow between the stones. When it finally grew in, we were cruelly slapped in the face by reality. Where moss grows, so will weeds. Okay, so it's a little bit more maintenance, but we can still live with it. But one day, the birds discovered us. Apparently, crows like pulling moss out of cracks so they can look for bugs underneath. The results? Big holes where my sand and moss used to be. It's time to bird-proof our stone walkway. To do this, we'll use concrete. So, here's the process. First, I removed all the moss, which was quite painful since it took me years to grow it. Then carefully, without actually disturbing the location of the stones, scrape the sand to loosen it. Use a shop vac to remove the sand. You want to go to the bottom of the stone, but not below it. Now, the average depth of this will be about 2 inches thick. This is a problem because concrete doesn't like to be poured less than about 4 inches minimum. But I've got two things going for me. If you saw my first video on how I put this in, I seriously over-engineered the foundation. So the stones are not going to be moving. Ever. A quick disclaimer, assuming no earthquakes. The second is that it's a lightly traveled walkway. So the concrete I poured has lasted 6 years so far. So here's your standard 60 pound sack of concrete. It's very easy to use. Everything you need is already pre-mixed in the bag. Now, if you use just straight concrete, the color can vary from white to gray. And placing gray concrete around gray stone doesn't really jump out and say, look at me. I suggest you change the color of the concrete. I went with red. They sell concrete dyes such as this that you pour directly into the concrete while mixing. But be forewarned, this dye costs significantly more than the concrete itself. Vigorously shake the dye before you use it. Oh, and make sure the lid is on tight. You'd be surprised how much water it took to clean that little mess up. I mix the dye directly into the water before I put it into the concrete. Now mix the water into the concrete. Slowly mix in more water until you get the concrete to the correct consistency for spreading with a trowel. Fill all of the gaps between the stones. Work the concrete a little bit to get it into the cracks, but not so much where all the large aggregate inside the concrete would sink to the bottom. There's really no way you're going to do this without getting concrete on your stones, but don't worry too much about it because we'll take care of that later. Just make sure your concrete is level with the stones. After applying your concrete, it's going to look a little rough like this. And you'll notice as the concrete dries, your color is going to lighten up a bit, like you can see here. That's normal, but we'll fix that later. For the next step, we want to get rid of the excess concrete that flowed over onto your stones. Use an electric drill and a heavy-duty wire wheel. You'll run the wheel across the surface of the stone. Do not, I repeat, do not go into the concrete between the stones. That'll leave a divot that fills up with water. And so the stones look uniform, brush the entire stone, even the parts that don't have concrete covering them. I do recommend you take frequent breaks while you're doing this, because that wire brush and that wheel is going to put a lot of torque on your wrists. After you've cleaned the concrete off of your stones, we'll want to treat the entire pathway. What this stuff does is reduce the chipping and spalding, powder dusting, and cracking that's common in concrete. It also acts as a water repellent to keep water from getting into your concrete and damaging it. You can spray it or roll it. I prefer rolling. And it may be overkill, but I do this twice a year, in the spring and in the fall. Remember, this concrete's only two inches thick, so you've got to really take care of it. And another advantage of the preservative, it brings back the darker colors in your concrete. While at the same time, repelling water. I'd like to finish up with one cautionary note. Any concrete preservative that you put down, is going to make that concrete considerably slicker. I have yet to figure out a solution to this problem. And there you have it. Your walkway is now weed-free and bird-proof. Thanks for watching.